Good morning, everybody. Good morning, can you hear me? Good morning, Kay and Amanda. <clears throat> I'm flying solo again this morning. Mario's working, so. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Amanda. Good morning, Kim. We've got one more minute before we'll start. Oh, my shirt, Amanda. This was Michael's when he worked at some nursery one summer. Naturally, I kept it. All right, well, it's eight o'clock. We've only got three three online, but let's go ahead and start this morning. <clears throat> we'll begin on page 78 of your Book of Common Prayer and begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. And let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor, continuing on page 79. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. We're on page 80 now. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now we will say together the Venite found on page 82 of your Book of Common Prayer. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hand. Oh, today, that you would hearken to His voice. 
The psalm of the day is psalm number 25, which can be found on page 614 in your Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 25 on page 614. And we can do it responsibly or you can read the whole thing together with me. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, my God. I put my trust in you. Let me not be humiliated, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Let the treacherous be disappointed in their schemes. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation, and you have I trusted all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your love and for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Gracious and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he teaches sinners in his way. He guides the humble in doing right and teaches his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are love and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, forgive my sin, for it is great. Who are they who fear the Lord? He will teach them that the way He will teach them the way that they should choose. They shall dwell in prosperity, and their offspring shall inherit the land. The Lord is a friend to those who fear him, and will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and have pity on me for I am left alone and in misery. The sorrows of my heart have increased. Bring me out of my troubles. Look upon my adversity and misery, and forgive me all my sin. Look upon my enemies, for they are many, and they bear a, a violent hatred against me. Protect my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have trusted in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O Lord, out of all its troubles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We will read together um, Canticle 9, Skipping the Old Testament. I don't have a Catholic Bible, and Mission St. Clair doesn't give the same one, and I can't find it online, so... Lord forgive us. Y'all can go back and read it if you want to um, later. But for now, uh, Canticle 19 on page 86. The first song of Isaiah, page 86 in the Book of Common Prayer. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading is from the book of Revelation. Chapter 7, verses 1 through 8. Revelation, chapter 7. Verses 1 through 8. After this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or on the sea or any tree. Then I saw another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living God. He called out in a loud voice, to the four angels who had been given power to harm the land and the sea. Do not harm the land and the sea 
or the trees until we put a seal on the foreheads of the servants of God. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from the, all the tribes of Israel. The tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Reuben, 12,000. From the tribe of Gad, 12,000. From the tribe of Asher, 12,000. From the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000. From the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000. From the tribe of Simeon, 12,000. From the tribe of Levi, 12,000. From the tribe of Issachar, 12,000. From the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000. From the tribe of Joseph, 12,000. From the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we will continue on page 94, saying together, Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed. Page 94, Canticle 19. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O King of all ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now, our gospel today is from the book of Luke, chapter 9, verses 51 through 62. Luke, chapter 9, verses 51 through 62. As the time approached for him to be taken up into heaven, Jesus resolutely set out for Jerusalem. And he sent messengers on ahead who went into a Samaritan village to get things ready for him. But the people there did not welcome him because he was heading for Jerusalem. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call fire down from heaven and destroy them? But Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they went to another village. As they were walking along the road, a man said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus replied, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. He said to another man, Follow me. But the man replied, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and proclaim God, the kingdom of God. Still another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. And Jesus replied, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the service of the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now turning to page 96, we will confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Page 96, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Continuing on page 97. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now continue. on page 97, we will say responsibly suffrage A, just like one of my favorite prayers. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect of the Day is Proper 24, found on page 235 of your Book of Common Prayer, if you would like to follow along. Page 235, Proper 24. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory among the nations. Preserve the works of your mercy, that your church throughout the world may preserve with steadfast faith in the confession of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now, if you will write any prayer requests that you might have right now, I would appreciate it. And I'm looking for a specific prayer. O God of all the nations of the earth, remember the multitudes who have been created in your image, but have not known the redeeming work of our Savior Jesus Christ, and grant that by the prayers and labors of your holy church that may, brought, may be brought to know and worship you as you have been revealed in your Son who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for the ability to come together and worship you every morning. Even if we can't be together, Lord, we are together in spirit, and we pray to you in unity and truth. Father, we lift up to all those to you, all those to you who are sick and suffering, and we trust in your healing care. Lord, that we ask we're two or three together in your name. You are with us. And if we agree upon anything, Lord, you say that you will hear our prayer and answer it. So trusting in your word, we pray for especially um, David Jeffress for peace in his grief. For Mary, who is having surgery tomorrow. Prayers of thanksgiving for Angela and Angelica, who has gotten over COVID. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord, for that, and all those who have recovered, Lord. We pray for healing for Lisa Farrell after her surgery, 
for Bob McClendon, for Terry Van Gundy, Barbara Woodruff, Pat Bell, Brian Croisdale, Don Petrash, Becky Bellows, Lord for Healing from Cancer, for Frank Shirley, Healing from Cancer, for Robin, Healing from Cancer. Lord, we praise you that you have given Jennifer a good report from her brain scan, or that she does not have tumors which, which run in her family, Lord. Um, just give you praise for her healing and that the doctors discover what's wrong, that it's, it's just an inner ear imbalance and that there's medication for that. Father, let that medication work, that she may continue to serve you in her private life and in her vocation. Lord, we pray for all those seeking employment, those mentioned and not mentioned. There's so many that are out of, out of work. Father, we ask that you let them find jobs um, to provide for their families, to help you in your ministry, um, and let them be a beacon of love and hope to those around them in their new jobs. We pray especially for Cheryl, for Richard, and for Norman. And we give you praise that Kathleen has finally found a job. Um, Lord, let her, um, let this be the place where you can work through her best, um, that she may be glorified. We pray also for all our children, whether they are young or grown. Lord, guide them by the power of your Holy Spirit. Grant them seeking hearts and an amazing love for you and for those around them. We lift up to you all our missions, Lord, the missions of the Episcopal Church, the missions through Epiphany, but also all the missions of the world. Lord, be it any church, we are one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and we pray that you work through everybody that speaks your truth, speaks the gospel, and bring those who do not know you through the power of your Holy Spirit to love and know you, Lord Jesus Christ, as our Savior. We pray especially for missions at UTD, for the upcoming um, mission to Cambodia. Lord, pave the way for them as they prepare. Um, we pray for their safety, for the safety of those around them, and a mighty sense of your Holy Spirit that you just may shine forth and touch the lives of all those who do not know you, that they may become your disciples and spread your word throughout the world. We pray for Tom Hauser at the gathering and for all those who serve the homeless, especially for Nancy at St. Matthew's. Lord, we ask all these things in your precious holy name. Amen. Now turning to page 101 in your Book of Common Prayer, let us pray together with general thanksgiving. Oh, and happy birthday to Jose. I missed that. Happy birthday, Jose. Um, now page 101, General Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thank thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Now turning to page 102, we will say together the prayer of St. Christostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, I have a huge letter from Lisa Farrell, if I can find it. Hold on, I have backup. It's from our weekly newsletter, and there are a lot of announcements, and things have changed. Um, reservations to attend an indoor service are no longer required. The 7 p.m. indoor Saturday night service has been canceled. In-person Eucharist in the church um, starts at uh, 5.30 p.m. And then on Sundays at 8.45, a mask is required, maintains physical distancing, and bring a lawn chair. That's for the outdoor services. Let's see what else. Uh-oh. Well, I missed the rest of it. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Livestream Eucharist is on Sunday at 10 a.m. Um, and you can click, if you look at the newsletter, you can click to get a service bulletin. Although yesterday they did have some printed, so if you forget, no worries. Uh, Livestream worship, morning prayer, daily at 8 a.m. Noonday service, Monday through Saturday at 12, 10 p.m. And evening compline, daily at 8 p.m. So if you didn't catch all that, check your, check your uh, weekly newsletter. And y'all have a blessed day in the Lord. And I will see you next week and hopefully get to share morning prayer with you other mornings of the week. Have a good day. Love y'all.